Hello guys, welcome in this tutorial of MATLAB and in this tutorial we're going to observe the voltage regulation at the receiving end of three phase transmission line as a function of load. So in this experiment we're going to have a transmission line, we're going to change the uh, uh, load, the type of load in RLC and then we're going to observe the change in the voltages. So first of all open up the MATLAB and then click on the Simulink button, Simulink icon. So Simulink icon is the part of the MATLAB where all of the simulation are done. Then uh, the Simulink library will open. So uh, all of the power uh, components that you're gonna use in this experiment or in this session are present in three phase MATLAB uh, section. And if you if you are having a trouble in finding finding the three phase components, then just go into the sense cap click into sense cap in the library and then go into sim power systems okay so in this section you can see that there are application libraries electrical sources elements and everything which we're gonna need in any three phase circuit so if you cannot find this thing in here you can just write sim power systems here click enter and it will open the library of sim power system it's searching and uh, yes here is the sim power system and it is the same library so uh, the things we're gonna need for this experiment are or the components are first of all we're gonna need a source so click on electrical sources and uh, here is you can see that there is a three phase programmable voltage source right click on it and add to new model it's gonna take a while and it will add this three phase source into a new model all right it is processing and there is the three phase source okay so after that you're gonna need uh, uh, going to the element and we're gonna need a three phase series RLC branch okay just right click on it and add into untitled and uh, I'm gonna need also a three phase RLC load and you know the basic difference between the RLC load and the branch is that the load has only input connection A B and C while the branch has input connection as well as the output connections so you can connect this uh, uh, branch between a circuit but uh, uh, the load is always connected at the termination of the circuit so another thing we are gonna need for the measurements is uh, a three phase VI measurement right click on it and add to the untitled and uh, uh, power transmission line you know the very important component is the power transmission line click on the elements and there is uh, three phase PI section line which is actually a three phase transmission line right click on it and also add this uh, this into the circuit and uh, yes the power GUI power GUI is a very important component and whenever you are willing to do some uh, simulation then you must add power GUI okay so here's the connection let's do it okay first of all you're gonna connect the source to three phase RLC branch or you can do it by the short command shortcut command which is control just uh, click uh, just hold the control button and then click on the components between uh, which you wanna make to the make the connection so uh, after that I'm gonna add a three phase PI section line okay so you can directly connect uh, the three phase series RLC branch to PI section line but because uh, I wanna see the input at the starting end so therefore I am connecting a VI measurement between these two components so I can just uh, check the parameters so just uh, right just click left click on the first component click control 
and then click on the second component so it will make the connections automatically between the two components this is the short key or you can do it by using your arrow connect A to A, B to B and C to C so now <coughs> I wanna see the output after the transmission line so therefore I'm gonna use another VI measurement so I can also measure the output after the transmission line so again same connection and and the output of this circuit and now I'm gonna terminate the circuit with a series RLC branch again make the connections A to A and B to B and now the circuit is a bit complete but there are two things missing don't forget to add a ground at this point otherwise it will generate an error and the other thing okay first of all there is a ground add it to the untitled and just make the connection properly okay and the other thing that you're gonna do is connecting a scope and oscilloscope so we can see the graph of it so again go into the library uh, write scope and add the first one from the list in the circuit okay if you wanted to increase the axis of the scope just double click on the scope the properties will open and in this icon you're gonna click on this icon and then you can increase the number of axes to 4 click on ok and close the window and now I'm having a scope which has actually 4 connections right in here so again I'm gonna make the connections and the connections this with this alright so the connections are actually complete and now what you're gonna do you just have to double click on each parameter and set its value I am setting the voltage the input voltage is to 10k RMS value and the frequency is 50 Hertz in the case you are from Asia Pakistan India or Bangladesh and uh, uh, three phase series RLC branch you can change its value but uh, uh, in this case these value are actually quite small so I will work with these values I will not change them and now click on the three phase series RLC load so here is the basic uh, part that you are gonna do you are gonna change the values first of all change the nominal value to the source value that you have selected in the case of three phase programmable voltage source that you have set the value just paste those value here and also the frequency Okay, now first of all, I want to see the behavior of my transmission line when the load is purely resistive. Okay, so make the other two parts here the capacitive load, the capacitive power, and the inductive power zero. Click OK. So here you can see that there is only a resistor in the series RLC load, and if you want to change the parameters of the transmission line you can do by double clicking on it and you can also increase the line length in kilometers okay so we are good to go right now just uh, after making all the connection click on the start simulation button and just wait for a while you can see the green bar here that it's working and it's trying to simulate the results and it's gonna take a while so alright so now the blue bar is going on which means we're simulating the results okay it has done the simulation now double click on the scope to see the results and uh, 
this is the button which is auto scale when you click on it you can see the results of this experiment and you can do the zoom the horizontal or vertical zoom to actually see the values um, whatever okay so the better you can just observe the waveform from the oscilloscope but the better way of uh, comparing the result is power GUI double click on it it's gonna open up a window here are the steady, uh, steady state voltages and currents click on it alright so now it is showing all the values so these are the values of the input voltages and uh, you know you can see that the first one two three these are the voltage values of the first scope the first VI measurement okay and uh, sorry and after that the next three four five six are the values of the second uh, VI measurement and same is the case with the current here you can see the values and here you can see the phase angle alright so um, that's it ladies and gentlemen I hope that you like uh, the tutorial and if you want me to uh, just make another tutorial about anything else including MATLAB, Simulink or either it is uh, Proteus or Multisim just let me know and I'll provide you the tutorial soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.